let us learn about angles there are different types of angles these types are acute angle then there is right angle an obtuse angle and a reflex angle we first need to study what is right angle because after learning what is right angle it's easy to spot an acute angle as well as an obtuse angle right angle is worth 90 degrees and you know the shapes like l which has this angle how do you know something is a right angle if you measure its degrees it has to be 90 degrees or take a piece of paper like this hold it halfway somewhere like this and when you fold it i'm assuming that you get something like this and then again hold it halfway and you get something like this this is your right angle tester and how do you use this right angle tester is that you have any angle put this tester at the corner like this because this is a right angle this is bigger than this angle so you know that given angle is not a right angle now we can define what are acute angles and obtuse angles i'll just quickly write the measure of right angle so it's always 90 degrees if the angle is less than the 90 degrees so this is 90 degrees and this will be less than 90 degrees so such an angle will be acute angle and therefore i am writing less than 90 degrees what is an obtuse angle obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees so if you have a right angle like this an angle of such kind will be an obtuse angle but remember we are defining obtuse angle to be less than a straight angle it has to be greater than 90s but less than 180 degrees or the straight angle what is a reflex angle a reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees or it is bigger than a straight angle an example of it is when you have a triangle like this this angle outside that polygon is greater than 180 degrees and that's a reflex angle now let's see a few real life examples so when you have a clock you just have 12 3 here and 9 here then in a clock you will find all kinds of angles when it's when it's 3 o'clock then this is a right angle let's try to see when will we find an acute angle so when it's 1 pm this angle is smaller than the right angle and therefore acute angle at 1 o'clock what about an obtuse angle let's draw an obtuse angle which has to be less than straight angle but greater than 90 degrees let's keep our minute hand here and the hour hand somewhere here probably at 7 so this is an obtuse angle so we could say obtuse angle at 7 o'clock if i draw a reflex angle like this so this is a reflex angle which is greater than the straight angle and you can find it opposite to an obtuse angle now i have taken the clock example to show all the angles here i would encourage you to just look around yourself and try and spot different mini angles you can spot a right angle at the corners of the walls an acute angle between a stapler and obtuse angle over a car and think about and the reflex angle exactly opposite to it. So there are many examples that you can find out and I'll encourage you to find more.